Ah, hey you guys, Blaze here from Blaze and Reviews, and happy holidays to all of you out there, wherever you may be. You know, I've owned my Sony HTA9 for almost two years now, and I use it every single day, listening to music, playing games, and of course watching TV shows or movies. And it still blows me away by its amazing sound quality and pure immersion that it can put me in. It only has four speakers, but Sony claims it's a 12 channel surround sound system. Plus, you can get the optional SW3 or larger SW5 subwoofer to go along with it. I went with the SW3 because I live in an apartment building and don't want the bass to bother my neighbors. Each speaker has two microphones built in. When you do the initial setup, the A9 will play tones that bounce off your walls and your ceilings. The microphones are then listening to these sounds and measuring the speaker's positions in your room and your room's dimensions in what Sony calls 360 spatial sound mapping. And once it's all done, it's supposed to put you in a 360 surround bubble by bouncing sounds all around your room to give you a phantom 12 channel home theater system. But I've always wondered, even though I personally think it sounds great giving me sounds all around and even above me when I watch my movies, is it giving me true and proper Dolby Atmos by placing the sounds accurately where they're supposed to be in my living room? Well, today we're gonna find out. And I've got a friend here with me who's gonna help us do this test. This is my good buddy, Sam. Sam stands for Spatial Audio Microphone. It's a binaural microphone I built about eight months ago to record all the sound of the movie reviews I do. He has two very high quality binaural microphones built into each of his ears, which are able to capture sounds in my room exactly the way I hear them. So if you wear a pair of headphones during this test, you'll be able to hear the sounds around and above you as well, just like I do. If you'd like to see how I built old Sam right here, Click on the link in this video's description box down below. Now, pause this video, put on a pair of headphones, and let's see if old Sam here is working properly. You should hear me whispering in your right ear. You should now hear me whispering in your left ear. And now it should sound like I'm whispering right above you. And now it should sound like I'm whispering right behind you. Now, take a listen to me crumpling these plastic bags and it will sound like it's all around you. Would you like some water, sir? All right, he seems to be working great, doesn't he? I bet when you heard that phone ringing, you thought it was your own phone. And when you heard that door slamming noise, you thought it was actually inside your house, didn't you? That's just how great binaural audio is. So I'm gonna be using the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit Disc to play pink noise in a square pattern 
traveling around my living room at ear level. I'm going to be wearing this blindfold so I can't see the screen on my TV. And then by using my arm, point to the areas in my room where I hear the sounds coming from. Let's see just how well the A9 can accurately produce Dolby Atmos. That was a bit strange. I'm glad I used a blindfold for this test. I was trying my best to point to the areas I'm hearing the sounds coming from. But because the A9 only uses four speakers bouncing sounds off the walls and ceiling to create phantom speakers, I could kind of hear it doing this as well. Let me explain what I mean. When the sound travels from the left front speaker to the middle and then to the left rear speaker, I could hear the left front speaker slowly dimming in volume and the right rear slowly increasing in volume to simulate the middle speaker. Yes, I could hear sounds coming from the middle and it sounded like it was traveling to the rear besides me, but I could tell by the speakers reducing and increasing in volume that it's simulating there being a speaker in the middle and I would focus on it. I hope that makes some sense. But despite that, the A9 is doing a great job of placing sounds at ear level where they're supposed to be. Well, now let's try the height channels only. All right, it's time for the ultimate test. Now I'm gonna be doing a torture test, which uses a voice traveling around the room diagonally and then up and over. I'll be using a flashlight pointing to the areas in my room where I hear the sound coming from. Let's see just how well the A9 can handle this. Here I am moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am just moving. Moving around your room. Can you hear me moving through your room? Moving through the room. 
moving through the room. I'm moving around your room. Here I am moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am just moving, moving around your room. Can you hear me moving through your room, moving through the room, moving through the room. I'm moving around your room. Here I am moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am just moving, moving around your room. Can you hear me moving through your room, moving through the room, moving through the room. I'm moving around your room. Here I am moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am just moving, moving around your room. Can you hear me moving through your room, moving through the room, moving through the room. I'm moving around your room. So is the Sony HTA9 giving us proper Dolby Atmos, placing the sounds in the right locations? I'd have to say definitely yes, and it's doing so remarkably well. Though I mentioned I can hear the speakers dimming and increasing volume to simulate other channels during this test, I had to focus on that very hard. And it's supposed to do that, because after all, it's just four speakers. Sony is using advanced 360 spatial sound mapping technology and immersive AE to simulate a 12 channel surround sound system for your home. When you are watching movies and playing games, or listening to music, you can't even tell each speaker is dimming and increasing sound to simulate that you have more speakers all around your house. It's doing so at a very fast pace. And you can't even tell it's creating phantom speakers. It actually sounds like you have more speakers all over your home. So in conclusion, yes, the A9 is giving us true Dolby Atmos, and the sounds pretty much are coming exactly where they're supposed to. For this test, my front speakers were located next to my TV and spaced six feet apart from each other. My rear speakers are located right next to my couch, with them facing my listening area and are also spaced six feet apart. The distance from my front speakers to my rear speakers is 10 feet. The speakers are on Iono speaker stands and are at ear level, which for me is about 2.5 feet up. I find with this setup, I get the very best surround and height effects for my room. My rear surrounds are always set to max, so I can hear all the rear surround sound action. Well, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to sub to my channel, smash that like button, and click that little bell icon to get notified when I upload more videos. More videos will be coming soon.